Belinda, what a galang. Ay, ay, ya. I am glad you asked. This tag targets seeds as a life essences reservoir in the context of potential identity, individuality, viability, and actualization. The childhood experiences raised through a combination of subsistence, cash crop, farming, and cyclic temporary industrial sugar manufacturing employment bear strong influences on, if not embed, perspectives of life, nutrition, and livelihood. Adult engagements may reinforce appreciation of the stability and dependability of natural life cycle imperatives for sustainability life, evolve recognition of the characteristics and practical limitations of industry, emergent technologies, and ability to identify the associated methodologies, heritage contraventions that constitute risks to life, longevity, and, in context, isolate the precursors of each element. A seed is truly phenomenal, fundamentally a life essences reservoir, and regardless of relative size to the source, holds the potential for a precise reproduction of generation itself capable of exponentially multiplying the functionality and preserving impeccable quality control. The prerequisites for this process are quite simple. The seed recognizes the minimum environmental standards and conditions necessary for its natural life cycle. In the event of inhospitable circumstances, the seed remains dormant or provides sustenance for some other life form. In the presence of minimally stable conditions, according to its kind, the seed engages its process and the new plant continues to progress toward the point of maturity and production or of service to its environment. Consider houseplants functionality and the greater good. Service of food for other life form or contributing to the improvement of the deficient or field environment toward greater potential for comprehensive life support are its worst case scenarios. Each seed within the boundaries of nature's open source quality control standards, including the development, evolution, protection, defense mechanisms of the genus, is truly phenomenal in its capacity to retain its identity for a precise reproduction of generation itself capable of exponential repetition. The ensuing fruit also becomes repository of all elements reflective of this identity, capable of resisting or even reversing unnatural manipulation as made evident by the progression of seedless artifice. This level of individuality is particularly relevant in context that fruit largely represent an attractive inducement by the plant targeting mobile species to, each within natural capacities, select, transport, and consume the fruit, thus encouraging seed dispersal well beyond the plant's shadow toward mutual replenishment and propagation of life. Seeds demonstrate potential, identity, and aspects of individuality by engaging available environmental conditions necessary, according to its kind, to sustain a plant subject to its natural life cycle. The imperatives of procreation and symbiosis, however, may very well require a balancing element. Another, like plant, appropriately distanced outside each other's shadow to establish and support mutual viability. Another truly remarkable reality is that nature's limitations provide very well for this contingency, having embedded this paradigm into the botanical zoological partnerships upon which the proliferation of plants, flowers, and trees might depend. Birds, bees, and other animals' social structure very well accommodate this process. Seed potential may significantly differ in fruit flavor, size, and appearance, identity, according to location, yet unyielding in the integrity of typical constituents, individuality, typically for decades, viability, barring unnatural interference, actualization.
Observations and experiences have consistently indicated that these variations in sensory nutritional appeal trigger a wealth of interaction to the greater mutual environmental and nutritional benefit beyond extensive exercise patterns associated with sensory satisfaction. Indeed, to appreciate the magnificence of natural symbiosis, it helps to consider the lifestyle of a mustard seed and, in juxtaposition to that of, say, the human sperm ovum. A botanical seed represents a precursor to universal nutrition. A zoological seed represents a complement to the responsibilities of stewardship on an intergenerational trajectory. Together, they represent the perpetuation of something good to eat from trees. Mm-hmm.